Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I wanted to do what well, I would, I'll consider it a get ready with me, even though I'm filming it at like 8.45 at night. I'm only getting ready to film another video after this. Um, but I wanted to do this video for a while. I wanted to do kind of a sit down chatty video about my experience getting the depot shot. <laughs> and I wanted to have like a frank talk with y'all about like birth control and how like that affected my body and just like my personal experience because I feel like we can always use more information um, out there about folks personal experience so for reference I am 25 almost 26 years old I started the shot when I was 19 and I stopped it January of last year so it's been about a year since I've had my last dose so I thought it would be kind of cool to, you know, come on and talk about my honest experience for anyone who is considering it. And yeah, that way maybe I can provide some firsthand information with y'all. Like I'm not a doctor, but I'm just a person with a body who has experienced it. Now, I know that this conversation is going to involve a lot of talk about like periods and menstruation and a bit about like eating and how my body body has physically changed. I'm not like necessarily going to talk about like intentional weight loss or anything like that because that's not um, something I subscribe to for myself but there has definitely been some changes in like my eating habits and stuff that has happened as a result of my experience with the shot so if that is something that is you know triggering for you I would encourage you that this might not be the video for you and I would be very happy to continue to have you on this channel just you know I wanted to give you all a warning that way you can opt out if this isn't something you're super comfortable talking about but with that kind of stated um I'm going to play with the Colourpop and Powerpuff Girls palette just because that's kind of what I've been using all month it makes me happy I'm gonna choose some of the pinky shades. And yeah, let's just hang out and get started. I think I'm gonna have to turn this ring light down because it is so bright in my face. Okay, huh. okay, I feel like I can see a little bit better. Like, it's just late and the thing is messing with my astigmatism, great. I also wanted to film this because I washed my brushes last night, so I'm like really ready <laughs> to film a makeup video. Like everything's clean and it feels super great. I've already done my brows, obviously. I've had these brows on like all day, so if they look like crap, sorry, not sorry. Um, but anyway, here we go. So um, like I said, I took the Depo Provera shot for about five years. I started in summer of um, 2015 and my last dose was in January of 2021. So that was there for about five years. I started taking it because one, I've always had very difficult periods, like very, very painful. Basically, if I didn't take painkillers right on time, I would vomit from the cramps. And that is not something that I wanted to continue doing because I didn't want, I didn't like that I was dependent on taking painkillers to make sure I didn't get sick. Now, the reason I got the depot shot is because I genuinely have a lot of trouble swallowing pills. Like that's something that I've always struggled with. I have a very strong gag reflux. So anytime I've ever had to take a pill, I've always checked with my doctor to make sure it is the kind that like can be chewed or crushed because swallowing pills just kind of doesn't happen for me. I've tried all of the things to learn how to do it and it has never happened. We didn't want to automatically start with like a more long-term thing like the like an IUD or like the thing they put in your arm either um, because my basically my doctor was recommending this as a starting point because I'm also rather prone to migraines. Basically her logic was she wanted to make sure that it was something that I could easily get off of should I have um, a bad migraine reaction to it. So she was very sensitive to that, which I appreciated. This is a doctor who I had had for, she was technically my pediatrician, but she kept me on through a couple of years of college to kind of make sure I was, you know, doing well and doing healthy, which I really appreciate. She was probably one of the best doctors I've ever had. Um, love her. So I started taking that. I also like it because um, when I have had medicine that I've taken daily, I have a very, very hard time remembering 
to take it daily it is very hard for me to get into routines about that sort of thing so yeah the depot shot was honestly my best thing um with good rx because i was uninsured for about a year with good rx at walgreens it cost about 30 dollars every three months so it was something you would get every three months it started off as an injection that i would get in my arm but eventually um they shifted it so that way you could get it injected in your butt, which is a lot nicer um, because there's something about like, I guess it's my like chronic pain or whatever I deal with, but a lot of times that is not the color that that looked like in the pan. I don't hate it, but it's not what I expected. Anyway, sorry, tangent. Something about my chronic pain, but whenever I get any shot in my arm, um, I know that it's going to be painful for like anyone, but it takes a lot longer for my arm pain to wear off. Like I've just noticed that. And also one time I got it done in my stomach and they said that I was the only person that they had had who had had a problem with it getting done in their stomach. I don't understand why you would want an injection in like your lower stomach and why people wouldn't find that painful because it was horrible for me. So I was always like, stick it in my butt, please. That's something you can very easily take out of context. Please do not take that out of context. I think it's also because the needle for it has to be very long because the liquid for the depot injection is very, very thick. So it is not something that they can just bam, you're done. It has to be injected very, very, very slowly. So that's not something that particularly bothers me. Obviously, like I have, I'm not like super afraid of needles, but I think that if you're someone who is afraid of needles, that's something that you'll need to kind of work with. So the needle is like about this long. So it wasn't great. It wasn't the most fun time, but honestly, getting that done every three months and not feeling like I'm going to puke once a month, not a bad time. When I first started getting the injection, I was really struggling because basically I was on my period for about nine months straight. Like, you know how you kind of get your period for about five days once a month and the rest you're off? It was like the opposite of that for me for about nine months. So basically nine months where I would have three weeks on my period and one week off. I spoke to a couple of different physicians about that. My doctor included also the campus doctor at my college. And they all said like, you know, that was very, that was actually a very normal side effect to have. And they had me taking iron supplements for a bit because I'm a vegetarian, I'm also just kind of naturally anemic. That's something that I've always had to be conscious of regardless of whether I've been taking birth control or not. I also wanna mention that I also started taking birth control just cause I really don't have any desire to be pregnant at this, stage in my life and I don't anticipate that happening anytime soon. I started it when I was single, so I was just kind of preparing for all possibilities there, you know. But in kind of thinking about that, basically all the doctors told me that it was normal and then if after about three doses it didn't let up, then they then something that would mean like my body's having a very bad reaction to it and I would need to stop, but they wanted to kind of wait it out and see if my body would get used to it and it did. So um, the weird thing is, is that I got no other period symptoms during that time. So I got, so I was bleeding, but I didn't have like cramps or bloating or anything that you would consider like a normal period symptom. So it was legitimately just like that part um, for about nine months. So the initial adjustment period really wasn't a fun time. Uh, but after that, once my body kind of leveled out, I was actually feeling pretty good. Um, it just took some time, took a bit of adjustment, you know, and I think overall it actually wasn't too bad of an experience because after that I didn't get periods at all. I know some folks will um, after taking the depo shot, but I really didn't. I would get a period for about one day, once a year, usually around Christmas, I don't know why <laughs> that timing was chosen and I found it both funny and inconvenient at the same time. Even then it would just be like bleeding but not necessarily any other period symptoms. So the depot shot kind of, it did what I wanted it to do um, in that I did not have painful periods basically the entire time that I was on it, which is really great. The reason that I, decided to stop taking it 
was because the last doctor I had um, when I was living in New Jersey, she was talking to me about like my nutrition levels and that because she's also a dietitian and she was basically because I'm a vegetarian and I was also talking to her about like trying to not like go fully vegan, but also just like reduce my dairy intake and stuff like that. She had just kind of asked how long I had been on the shot and apparently around five years, your calcium can start to basically get low with the depo shot and unless you are someone who consumes a lot of dairy and takes calcium supplements it is probably not going to be super great for your bone health long term um so unless you're someone who naturally consumes a lot of calcium and absorbs that easily which my body doesn't it is not necessarily the greatest thing to be on long term so she and i talked about it i told her like give me my last dose so that way I can kind of have about three months or so when it would wear off um, for me to think about what I want to do next if I want to try another form of birth control to help if I wanted to just see um, where my body was because I also recognize that I was 24 then and I started um, depo when I was 19 so I also was kind of feeling like okay my body has you know had several years of changing because like you don't just stop growing once you hit 18 you know so I was kind of like let me you know see how I feel after being off of this for a few months see if like if I get my period back will it be as bad as it was the time before we decided to take that route now that was January of last year it is now um in January 2022 so how has it been since then well, I will say I've read in some places that the depo shot does cause infertility for some people, depending on how long you use it. That is not necessarily something that I'm particularly concerned about because I'm not someone with a strong urge to be pregnant. You know, like that's not necessarily something that I feel super strongly about one way or another. So that's not something that I particularly cared about. So part of me, um, especially once I was kind of starting hitting the nine months of not really having a period at all after my last dose of depo I was kind of like did my uterus just kind of say like these working conditions are unacceptable and just like leave I also got my COVID shot I've um, got two doses of Pfizer and a booster and I also know that that has thrown off some folks cycles and I did notice like I had when I got my second dose about a week after I had what I felt was kind of like a fake out period where I was on my period for like a day and then it stopped and there were a couple of times like that so I was kind of like am I getting it back I don't know so I also wonder if that also played a little bit of a part into that now I'll say like obviously I'm glad to have been fully vaccinated and I wouldn't have cared what happened to um my period regardless of <laughs> vaccination because I would rather you know have a wonky period than have COVID you know and I'm glad I protected myself for that but that's just something that I feel like I need to take into account and note because that could have been a factor in the way my body reacted to it now officially had a full period since I stopped the depo shot um that was the second week of January. I'm kind of feeling like I might not need to necessarily immediately pursue another form of birth control to control my periods. Now it wasn't great. It wasn't a fun time at all because before I was like a five day period person this was seven days and like most of them were very heavy bleeding so I'm kind of hoping that like my body evens out a little bit more and all of that because that was like not a fun time so I'm hoping that maybe you know next time around it'll be a little bit lighter a little bit easier to manage and a little bit more back to normal i didn't really get these same debilitating cramps as i did before thank god um and i'm gonna probably chalk that up to simply like my body maturing and like growing into like a whole adult a full ass adult human being your body doesn't stop growing just because you hit 18 like your body is constantly changing and just because um my periods were awful all through like puberty doesn't mean it's going to be like that for the rest of my life but taking the depo shot at the time 
was genuinely something um, that helped me because it was easier to do that than try really hard um, and do all of the right things so you don't throw up once a month. Like I think that I definitely made the right choice to take the depot shot for as long as I did. Um, so I kind of feel like if my periods continue in this rain, hopefully lighten up a little bit and don't last the full seven days, um, I'm not going to be pursuing anything else necessarily, but that's the uh, period aspect of that. Hopefully that wasn't too much for y'all, but I also feel like it is beneficial to be open and honest about that sort of thing because we don't get a whole lot of real talk. Like I didn't know of anyone who had um, tried the Tepo shop when I had gotten on it. So, and even still now, like when I was making the decision last year of whether or not I would um, continue this or pursue some sort of other birth control, um, there wasn't like the most information and people's experiences out there to read. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video so that way if anyone else was ever considering it. Now on to other changes. I feel like my skin has gotten a, like a lot better since I've stopped taking it. Like it's just kind of naturally gotten a little bit more clear, which always a bit nicer, you know, like I feel like I have to do less skincare, you know, in order for me to have just like generally smooth clear skin without a whole lot of acne. Now I'm not as bothered by acne as I was when I was like a teenager because now I'm just like skin is interesting let it do its thing and skincare is you know fun just to make sure that you're like healthy you know and I'm not an expert when it comes to skincare but I do notice that my skin looks a lot better ever since I stopped. The other thing that I notice and this is where I'm going to talk about like food a little bit and like relationship to eating. I am not as hungry now that I've stopped it, now that I've stopped taking Depo. For the time that I was on the Depo shot, I was, I'm not going to say like I was eating too much because I firm, I'm a firm believer in intuitive eating. If you are hungry, do not deprive yourself, like don't starve yourself. I don't think that that is healthy. And that's not ever something that I want to do to myself. You know, making sure your body is nourished and you're not like hurting yourself is always the most important thing. I did kind of notice when I was on it that I would crave like very like dense foods and I would get very, very hungry very quickly. I eat very nutritious food. I, since I went vegetarian when I was 13, I've always been very conscious of like, okay, what nutrients do I need? How much protein do I need? And I've always been very conscious of making sure that all of the things are in my diet. So I didn't think that that was an issue. Like I had talked with Case about it and they were like, yeah, no, you're like, eating like a balanced diet so and like even when I talk with my doctors they're like yeah there shouldn't really be a reason why you're as hungry as you are because it would be like I would eat a very 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 full meal like and then in like an hour I would be starving again and like I said I believe in intuitive eating and following you know your body's needs like I said I think it's important to be nourished um but it was kind of getting to a point where it was like annoying <laughs> of like how hungry I was like I tried everything of like increasing my protein intake basically everything barring eating meat because I think the other thing that I had a problem with with that too is I do have IBS so I the fact that I was craving a lot of like very heavy meals was good to like keep me full but my digestive system also got seriously destroyed by a lot of that too like I had IBS symptoms before I started the depot shop but basically eating like getting cravings all the time and eating that much I was like not doing my intestines any favors I'm trying to explain this in a way that kind of makes sense but basically I would eat like very full meals hour later I would be absolutely starving again and one of the things that triggers my migraines is hunger. My hunger cues came on so fast and so strong that it was like eat in like the next 15 to 20 minutes or you will get a migraine and ever since I have kind of stopped the injection I that is probably the biggest difference that I noticed because I had kind of at first talked it up to like again bodies changing you know you need different things in your 20s and you do 
when you were in your teens, you know, but ever since I've stopped, I think the biggest thing is that my hunger cues feel like a little bit more normal now. Like I can be hungry and I don't need to like immediately scramble or else I'm gonna get a migraine. I can like take time to actually prepare myself a meal which is really nice because like I said, I always try to nourish myself. I was never trying to deprive myself, but I didn't like how absolutely stressful it was that I was like, oh my God, I have to eat something right now or I'm gonna have a migraine and it's gonna like take me out for the rest of the day. Um, that wasn't a fun time at all for me. Yeah, that was probably the biggest thing I've noticed is that like, I feel like my body's evened out because that also has helped my IBS. And I have looked into it. I have um, spoken with my doctor afterwards and she said that, yeah, one of the things that it triggers hormonally is like you get hungry faster, basically on the depot shop. Once again, not necessarily like the worst side effect in the world, um, but definitely, for five years trying to make sure I ate very quickly so I wouldn't get a migraine. <laughs> that really wasn't great for me mentally and stress relief wise. Like I like taking time to prepare a good, good meal. You know, I love cooking and I don't like feeling rushed. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's dinner time. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to deal with it in a short way. Um, Those are kind of the things that I noticed the most. So I might potentially, you know, see how it goes. If I decide to make any changes, I might update y'all, you know, see how I'm doing. But I thought that this could be a valuable video if you're interested in like taking the depot shot and what the side effects. I think a lot of people are automatically very negative about it, which I understand because I know that my symptoms aren't necessarily everyone else's. My experiences aren't necessarily everyone else's. I think for me, it was actually an overall positive experience and if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would have probably done about the exact same thing. I would have done a little bit more research like initially, but I don't think it was a bad choice. I think that for what I needed at the time, which was sort of, you know, an easy low effort solution to make sure that my periods weren't super debilitating, um, especially since I'm not someone who cares as much about like fertility or like weight gain or anything like that. Those are topics that I'm kind of totally neutral on when it comes to myself. I didn't really have a problem with that. I know that other people will react differently to it and might have other things to say, but overall I don't think it's like the worst form of birth control. I think you just have to be very mindful of like your calcium levels, making sure that your body is nourished, but I think that's the way with a lot of medicines, especially ones that affect your hormones. So. I hope you found this video helpful. I just wanted to be kind of open and honest about this so that hopefully, you know, some other 19 year old who was thinking about getting the depo shot to make sure that their periods don't suck anymore, you know, might have a little bit more information than I did. Anyway, this is a very different video topic for me, um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna get back into some regularly scheduled beauty content so this isn't all y'all are gonna see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And I will see y'all in my next one. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.